The day I had my heart attack was a normal day. Um, there wasn't anything different within the day. Um, I, with the exception that somebody came up to me and said that, you don't look too well. And that sign I ignored. After having lunch, I felt that um, something wasn't sitting right. I felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. I started sweating, and then when I got radiation down my left arm, I knew the signs of a heart attack. He was working at that time. He started having excruciating chest pain. He came to the ER, the doctors saw him. Initially, when somebody comes in with these symptoms, our first um, reaction is to obtain a 12-lead EKG, which typically picks up a, a bad kind of a heart attack in which one of the arteries is 100% blocked. In his case, the EKGs did not pick it up. He was on oxygen and the heart monitor and everything, and he was doing okay at that time. He was still having pain and spoke with the emergency room doctor and she said she knew something was going on. Even though the EKG didn't show anything, she knew something was going on because of his symptoms. We started him on certain good medications, uh, but his symptoms did not improve. And since his symptoms were not improving, I decided I was called by the ER doctor and I decided him to take him to the cath lab. When I got him here, um, he had a 100% occluded artery. You know, my health prior to my heart attack, I had no issues with um, being overweight. I'm not a smoker. Um, generally, never, I, I hadn't had no surgeries, nothing, nothing that stuck out that would make me a heart attack candidate. There was four blockages, and so they had to stent that immediately, and it was very extensive, and even Dr. Singh said he couldn't believe uh, with Dan being 54 years old at that time and his, a healthy adult um, that, he, that he had so much blockages. So putting everything together, he had something we call multi-vessel disease, that more than three arteries are blocked or have significant blockages. The gold standard of dealing with patients who have multi-vessel disease is to undergo what we call as coronary artery bypass graft surgery which means that you do surgical revascularization. You take either the arteries from the collarbone or veins from the legs, and instead of putting in stents, you create bypass grafts. The surgery, as I, I remember, laying on the cart, being rolled into the, the um, surgery and thinking, am I gonna survive this? That was, that was the, the one piece um, that was really hard to, to move past, am I gonna survive this? Did I say goodbye to everybody that I needed to if I wasn't going to survive this? It was hard to see your husband hurting. It was hard on his family, it was hard on his, you know, the kids. And um, we felt, you know, we couldn't do anything for him. So it was very difficult. My rehab was 36 sessions and um, I started out with riding bikes, treadmill, all the way up through upper um, body equipment, lifting weights. He couldn't be a husband or a father like he wanted to. He couldn't pick up his grandchildren. Um, it was difficult, but he got through it. And we he has made some great strides. He exercises. He eats very, very healthy now, and he is here um, speaking as an ambassador for the American Heart Association, so I'm very proud of him. I still feel that um, within my day-to-day -day that I'm not 100%. It, I believe that with different individuals that it, it's just gonna take some time, um, physically and mentally. The biggest lifestyle change that I've had is, is is thinking differently. Thinking differently about who I am and what I want out of life. Um, especially for some of us that may not think about it, that you don't get second chances. I was able to get a second chance and now with that, I be I'm becoming a better person. Dan is a pretty healthy individual, there is no doubt about it. But I think it is more about making right choices. Um, the American Heart Association and all the studies we have done, they recommend people having, doing exercise, strenuous exercise, at least five times a week for about 40 minutes. Make healthier choices. 
make changes which you can live with, which are sustainable over a long haul. Um, I think Dan is doing more of that diligently now than he was doing it earlier. People should think about when heart disease is that it can happen to anybody. As an example, I never thought that I would have a heart attack, and I did have a heart attack. So my message is to, to people is that even if you have the slightest symptoms, seek medical attention, go to your primary physician, let them know what's going on with you so you don't end up like me.